and Buddha proved it. And his disciples proved it day in, day out. You must have faith in the teaching as the very Buddha is only the embodiment of his teaching. So if you follow the teaching, the power of the Buddha, the power of truth is with you. He is sitting right in your heart when your heart is charged with truth. Never forget that. Buddhism is based on truth, not on false values or false theories of God and this, that and so forth. I'm going to quote today a sutta today. I will just start. It's a fairly big sutta. Next time we'll take up. So there, this, this man, IGP, is 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 a general, police general, and a powerful man at that time. He was known for his cruelty to the Indian uh, independence fighters. He put Gandhi in jail himself, Nehru in jail. Now this man, powerful man, whole night could not sleep because of the force of metta that overcame, that completely suffused his heart. He felt very, very, uh, you see, guilty. He said, what am I doing? I am going to die one day, anyway. And here is a saintly person. Now, we have kept him, we have interned him for five years. He was in jail for nothing. He didn't do any, he didn't go on, uh, excite the people of Ceylon. He didn't tell them, come on, go and fight. He didn't tell them to go on jail, fill up the jail. You see, jail Bharoni, he never said, though, though our people said that here. Yeah. And they did Bharo the jail. They filled the jail. But Dhammapada used, Dhammapada used the Buddha's way. And that is, the way that truth triumphs. The truth behind metta triumphs. The truth behind metta is that metta has a power of truth, which means that it can overcome hatred in any form. So that is what it is. Dhammapala had a whole day, 24 hours now, almost. Now Buddha himself with many suttas say, now for instance, uh, you have got the Satipatthana Sutta, go and read that. We have the translation of it here. And you will see, he said, if you practice Satipatthana Sutta, Vipassana meditation, sincerely, for a whole year, every minute of you, moment to moment, you uh, you cultivate mindfulness. You are mindful of everything. Your heart will be charged with such power of mindfulness. Eventually you will develop the supernormal powers of samadhi. You will develop uh, the vipassana, jnana, the insight, knowledge, which penetrates into the reality of nibbana here and now the Four Noble Truths, and your heart is transformed. You have become a Sotapanna, Saglagami, Anagami, Arahat, the four stages of uh, enlightenment. So Dhammapala, he used metta power, and he showed that this man was, he said, Sir, he went anyhow, nine o'clock he reached there, he said, he was like a docile little puppy before him. He said, I'm sorry sir, I spoke to you rather, uh, you know, in my police way, but I'm trained that way. And uh, I'm sorry, now I understand that you are a holy man. You stand for truth that Buddha, it is because of Buddha that 
that India is known in my country, in England, that we know. Americans know India by the Buddha, not by anything else. So that Buddha is now forgotten. I am a Christian, sir. I am. I am. I, am, I believe in Catholicism. And uh, but I do re study Indian religions, and I have uh, knowledge of Buddhism through the uh, Theosophical movement myself. The Alcott and Blavatsky has, uh, you see, influenced everybody. So there you are, and uh, you are uh, fighting for a good cause, and you have won your case. So I think we are wrong. I am not going to listen to the to my counterpart in Ceylon, and I am going to write to the governor that I don't want to deport him for nothing, and that something else should happen, and I will keep him under my surveillance which I have got the power as an IG, Inspector General, I can do that. So he told him, look here, sir, you are an elderly person and you look very emaciated and all that now. I am very sorry for all this. And now I will release you from this, uh, you know, house arrest and all that. He was an intern. So you can be free. You can be in your headquarters in your room and have your meals as usual and now you are getting a, a not proper punishment, you see, uh, food and all that. So I will I will take charge of you, you will be under my uh, care and I will treat you as if my father and my uh, elderly person, I treat them, I will treat you like that and no policeman anymore in your room. For three policemen day and night for five years for nothing. So he withdraw the police fellows, these thing that, and the police fellows who came in contact with Dhammapada, they had such respect for him. They were embarrassed all the time. They didn't know what to do. And the same thing happened with my teacher. The very he was interned too during the uh, Second World War and First World War also. And I am talking of Dhammapala in the First World War. So, there you are. The, have faith in the supremacy of truth. Have faith that truth alone triumphs over everything. So now, after some day, that governor of Ceylon, was not the inspector general anyway. He changed his mind. But his logic was different. He said, look here, this person is a holy man. People just worship him. Women fall on the road with their hair on the ground, saying that if his feet touches the hair, they will become pure man. That's the kind of respect they have. So now, this man, if I put him here in, uh, you see, uh, have him deported, and my friend sends him here, he said, I will be in trouble. And this inspector general had, I think, influenced privately a lot of uh, the British uh, high, these higher, you know, categories of these colonizers. All so he said, no, 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 I don't want him here. I may get into trouble if I get him here. So he, went up, I, uh, he contacted the, the Delhi, that is, uh, the Viceroy's people. He said, no, no, please keep him there in, under the care of the police in Calcutta and let him be there. We don't want him here. I get this moor and the above and the Singhalese Buddhist again will get into trouble again. So there you are. So that this is Dhammapala study by pure and simple power of truth as 
you see, embedded in the practice of metta. Metta is also truth. The truth that evil can be overcome by good, that hatred can be overcome by love. And Buddha showed it, demonstrated in many, many occasions. This uh, Nalagiri story also, I'll tell you. You know that. So there you are. Have faith, my dear, in the supremacy of truth. The truth alone triumphs. Now, we have to also understand this in terms of a deeper dhamma. There is a sutta called Agana Sutta. In the Diha Nikaya, it deals with the origin of human species. Agganya, that is the beginnings of life, human life, and how the human society in this part of the country, that is India, how the Indian society evolved step by step, you see, from a very, uh, you see, after the, what you call, the world gets destroyed, as you know, just as from time to time, the, as the human life also comes to an end, there will be a time when there will be no Bangalore here, no Mysore, no India, it will be zero, just plain open space, that is what it will be, no Himalaya, no uh, ocean, nothing, no world, everything Finished. This is not a myth, not a mythology that I am talking about. Scientific fact, they have found out that stars get destroyed. And once the star explodes and destroys, my goodness, that in the entire uh, space there is a tremendous uh, kind of upheaval and so on. So, I won't go into all that now, but this sutta goes into the beginnings of, the, or rather the origin of human life and the evolution of the, uh, the human uh, state, you see, from a very <coughs> primitive state to the state of the present level of uh, you see, sophistication that we have. So in this sutta gives how the Indian society has evolved. It's a perspective, mind you. It's a viewpoint that is not created, given by a researcher or a scientist or a, a man or by a philosopher or somebody just by conceptual knowledge. No. It is by seeing through divine eye which is a supernormal power, Dibba Chakku, by which you can envision, you can go backwards or forwards. Backwards means you go to the past. Hundreds of thousands of kalpa you can go, not age, not year, but kalpa. You can go back how the world uh, was in a certain period. There are persons, there are periods, where human beings live for a hundred thousand, you see, years. That is one lakh year is your life, lifetime. My goodness, to think that you are going to live for five hundred years now is a fearful thing. By, by the time you are ninety, your body doesn't listen to you. You can't eat anything, you can't hear, your ear, uh, you see, you lose hearing. Your teeth all get decayed and all uh, terrible things. You can see. So when you are 500 now, my goodness, you will be like a, a vegetable, just sitting. So people can't think even of 500 years now. But it is a fact that people, there were human beings who lived for one lakh years. It's a fact. It's not a fiction. Not a mythology. So, this, how, what kind of mind can perceive this, can see through this? If you develop samadhi, the fourth jhana, you can develop the state of 
divine eye, the Bhajak. And you can see through. Because your consciousness is that which uh, you see at the level of a Brahma God. At the Rupa Vachara, beyond the scope of beyond beyond the Kama Vachara sphere. Even much much higher than any any of these Kama Vachara gods, Devas. The Brahmas have immensely long life. They live for kalpa, not years. So in that state you can see through. And so it is with the Sarvajya Chakshu, the all-knowing mind, the omniscient mind of the Buddha, which is the highest state of spiritual perfection, the summit stage of enlightenment. It is with that that he has seen through and he has related how the life how life in India has evolved. So in this Aganya Sutta we find that. And I have translated this sutta, uh, but I'm afraid we don't have much time. I will take it up next time. But uh, the subject itself has been uh, has been presented to you that metta as a power, as a truth times and, ne- and uh, Dhammapala proved it just as his master Bhagavan Buddha proved it by uh, taming uh, Navagiri. So you see if you cultivate the truth underlying any Dhamma, any state, let us say Panatipata Veravan. I am voluntarily undertake not to kill, not to steal, not to commit uh, sexual misconduct, not to tell lies, not to drink alcoholic drinks, etc. Just five sila. Now this bunch of sila, if you follow absolutely, very sincerely, and not to show off to people that you are a virtuous man and all that, nothing doing, not that. Straightforward faith in the power of sila, moral action, 